Hi guys, today I have best code using one of our continuous ink jet printers. Uh, we're going to be aligning the jet. And when we're aligning the jet, what we're talking about is getting the ink to come out of our generator and straight into our gutter hole that's right here. So the first thing I want to say is the things that we're going to need is going to be a small Phillips screwdriver. We're going to need a flathead screwdriver. We're going to need an eyeglass or an eye loop. And we're going to need a good flashlight LED. So those are the tools that are going to be required to do this. So one of the first things we're going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to go from the home screen here, and we will see the clean. When we hit the clean here, we see print head clean. And I'm going to talk to you why we're going to use the print head clean before we induce ink. So the first thing we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and start the print head clean by pushing this uh, arrow button. You're gonna see it start counting up from zero to 20. Uh, usually between 40 and 46% is when you hear our solenoid click. And uh, when that clicks, that's when we're gonna be focusing on the print head to watch the stream of makeup. And what we're going to do is we're going to align the makeup into our gutter hole first. So we're at 13%. Again, between 40 and 46. It's only going to be about a 15, 20 second spurt of makeup that you'll be able to look at. So you might have to do this maybe two or three times. Uh, and it happens again at 78%. So you have two times per print head clean to focus on your print head and your gutter. And we'll show you that. And now we heard the uh, two-way valve click at 43%. As you can see in this example of our video, our, our alignment is off to the left. Our ink stream is actually not going into our gutter hole. It is off to the left. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be making the adjustment. Like I said, I saw the stream going to the left. So I'm gonna be loosening up this screw right here with the Phillip head screwdriver just a little bit. I'm gonna take my flat head screwdriver and I'm gonna go and adjust the cam. I'm gonna be adjusting the cam counterclockwise. The way you turn the cam follower is the way that the stream will, will, will follow. And my stream will start again, like I had been saying, between 40 and 46. So I'm gonna be ready for when the stream happens. And as you can see, I was going right into the hole. As you can see, as that was happening, I was getting some fluid coming up here. We're not gonna get a lot because we're not using the pressure from the pump, we're using the pressure from our Venturi. I'm gonna wait for the second stream at 78 just to verify, and I can see that I'm, I'm in the hole. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten up this screw here again. So I'm locking my cam into place, like so. Okay guys, now that we have the cleaner going into the gutter hole, we're gonna stop using cleaner and we're gonna go to ink. The reason why we're not gonna continue doing it with the makeup is because if we keep doing it this way, we are gonna induce makeup into our ink, which will cause a low viscosity. So from this screen here, guys, we're just gonna go back. We're gonna sign in as GoTech. G-O-T-E-C-H, 
and then hit the, the start button down here. From here, guys, we're gonna go into our service screen. From our service screen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut off the phase. So we're gonna disable that. We're gonna disable the high voltage and the errors. And then from there, we're gonna hit start. As you can see, it's gonna start a lot quicker, 37 seconds rather than a minute and a half. So now we're gonna focus on our print head, fine tuning the ink now that we're running ink into our gutter hole. Okay guys, so now that we are using ink and you can see our ink is going straight into our gutter hole and you can see now we have a great vacuum of, of uh, ink stream going back to our tube making a continuous loop. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making our, our fine adjustments. And to do our fine adjustments guys, again, we will be using the cam follower up here in order to make our ink go left or right and we're gonna be using the side cam here to make it go in or out. So the first thing we're gonna to do to make the in and out adjustment is turn the print head 90 degrees. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen this top one here and then we're gonna be taking a flathead in between these two, which is our cam. And by turning this left or right, we're gonna be taking the, the ink stream in and out. So now we're watching the stream, and as you can see by turning that cam, uh, it is making it move in, in and out. So what we're looking for is to get that right in the center. Once you have that right in the center, we're gonna go ahead and lock that top screw back down again, which will lock that cam back into place. Next, we're gonna be taking the head and turning it back 90 degrees so we can do the other adjustment. And with this adjustment, we're gonna be taking a Phillips screwdriver and loosening this screw just a little bit like so then we'll take our flathead screwdriver and this is the, the nut that we're using as the cam follower and by turning it left or right we're gonna make this go left or right or side to side we're trying to get it as close to the left as possible without touching the metal. Once we're done with that, go ahead and tighten that screw back up. And the final step that we'll be doing here, guys, after we have this screw tightened, is uh, turning our face back on. And turning our high voltage back on. Once that's done, we'll go back to the home screen and we're ready to print.